are you familiar with this song? I mean, it's crazy. What? We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. Of course you are. It's Love is an Open Door from Frozen. But were you aware that this song is one of the last love songs to be featured in a Disney animated film? Sure, we had a couple love songs in Frozen 2, but this song was our last romantic duet. Yeah, you heard that right. Turns out the last time they did a duet between two love interests was 2013. I can already hear someone saying, um, actually Hans technically isn't Anna's love interest. And to that I say, I know, I know. If you don't want to count Love as an Open Door, then the next most recent duet between romantic leads was I See the Light from Tangled, released in 2010. I'm sure some of you are thinking, okay, what's the big deal? Yeah, it's been a while since we got a real love song in a Disney film, so what? Well, I bring up this fact because I believe the lack of love songs in Disney's animated movies is a direct reflection of their growing aversion to telling romantic stories in general. In this video, I'm going to explain why I believe Disney has moved away from telling love stories and why I think that decision is kinda dumb. But real quick, before we start, I want to make it clear that this video is not an attempt to bash the work of the talented artists, animators, and writers over at Disney Animation. Nor is this video me saying that every Disney movie needs to be about a heterosexual couple who fall in love and live happily ever after, and that any movie that differs from that format is bad. This video is simply me recognizing a growing trend and commenting on it. With that out of the way, let's get into the video the Disney Renaissance. In December of 1966, Walt Disney passed away, leaving his brother Roy Disney to manage the company until his death in 1971. With the loss of both Walt and Roy, the Disney company found itself struggling through the 70s and most of the 80s. That was until 1989 when Disney released The Little Mermaid, marking the start of what many call the Disney Renaissance. From 1989 to 1999, Disney Animation would release some of their most critically acclaimed and commercially successful movies of all time. The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and Mulan, just to name a few. If you want to know why Disney films became so synonymous with romantic storytelling, look no further than the films released during this time period. No, seriously, every single Disney Renaissance movie features a love story of some kind, which might be a little excessive, I'll admit. But compare that to Disney's modern films and you'll see a stark contrast. Speaking of which, modern Disney. In the years following the Disney Renaissance, things started to shift. Of course, we still got films like Princess and the Frog and Tangled, but we were also getting movies like Brother Bear, Chicken Little, and Bolt. Films that, while not always great, dipped their toes into new ideas and characters. However, I don't think the real shift that I and many other people on the internet are talking about happened until the mid 2010s. With online video and internet discourse becoming more and more popular, it's reasonable to assume that Disney was becoming increasingly aware of the criticism being leveled at many of their classic films. A common piece of criticism they faced, and admittedly continue to face today, was the way that films like Snow White and Sleeping Beauty depicted their female leads as helpless damsels in distress. Obviously, Disney didn't want their brand and female characters to be associated with dated gender roles and harmful stereotypes. So what did they do? Did Disney listen to the valid criticism of their films and allow it to inspire them to write better love stories for their female characters going forward? Of course not. Instead, they just stopped giving their female protagonists love stories altogether. Because why would you put effort into something when you can just take the easy way out? Well, guess we're done making love stories because as we all know, it's impossible to give our female character a love interest and still make her a strong character. The most frustrating thing is that Disney is more than capable of writing strong characters who fall in love. Just look at Tangled. Sure, a portion of the movie is dedicated to Rapunzel falling in love with Flynn Rider, but that isn't her entire character. In fact, both she and Flynn have individual character arcs. Rapunzel goes from being naive and clueless about the outside world to being able to stand up for herself and hold her own against Mother Gothel. And Flynn starts out as a selfish lying thief who slowly realizes that he can let people in. He can be honest. He can be a better person. Rapunzel and Flynn Rider are both fleshed out characters first and love interests second. That's why their love story works. I want to reiterate that I'm not saying that every Disney film absolutely needs to have romance in it for it to be good. 
movies like Moana and Encanto are evidence that a Disney movie doesn't need to tell a love story to resonate with an audience. But Isaac, doesn't that go against your point? I don't think so. What I'm saying is that a character like Rapunzel can have a love interest and still be just as strong, courageous, and independent as a character who doesn't have one. Both types of characters are necessary and can and should exist simultaneously. I have hope that Disney will eventually escape their current platonic love good, romantic love bad way of thinking. And if and when they do, I believe that it could open the floodgates for a lot of interesting stories, ideas, and characters. Imagine a world where we could still get movies with an emphasis on family like Encanto or friendship like Moana, while also getting movies with romantic plot lines similar to the ones seen in Tangled and even Frozen. Is it naive to imagine a world where both of these things can coexist? Probably. But who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, what do you think about Disney's growing apprehension to romance? Do you think that a new Disney love story is overdue? Or do you want Disney to keep going down the path they're on right now? Either way, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want more Disney content, go check out this video all about Disney's latest film, Wish. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go start ranking all the songs from Wish. Gosh, this movie's gonna be the death of me.